Okay, this is lesson 6.4. We're going to write a linear equation given the graph. So we're going to have a graph line. We're going to write the linear equation. Go ahead and do your warm-ups before you get to class so that we can begin as soon as you get there. If you're missed class, uh, go ahead and do the warm-ups, and then you can come in and check to see if they're right. Okay. When we have a graph line and we need to write the equation of this graph line, we can do that by knowing three things, just like before. The y-intercept, the slope, and we need to know slope-intercept form. If we know these three things, we can write the equation of a graph line. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And we fill in the m and the b, the slope and the y-intercept. Okay? So here we go. We have this graph line here. And we want to write the equation of this graph line. Well, you're going to want to write these three things down. Because this is how we're going to... Okay, so you're going to want to write down, identify the y-intercept, identify the slope, write in slope-intercept form. So, here we go. Identify the y-intercept. That's right there. It's zero. So, b equals zero. Identify the slope. Now, slope is rise over run. Please write this down. Rise is up or down. Run is left or right. So we're going to write our slope right here. It's going to be a fraction. The top number is up or down. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up two lines. So the top number right here is a two. Then I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to go to the right two lines. That's the bottom number. Okay. This is where you guys get mixed up. Up or down is a top number, right or left is a bottom number. Now, 2 over 2, what can 2 over 2 reduce to? That's correct. It can reduce to 1 over 1 or 1. Now, the last thing we need to do, is this slope positive or negative? It goes up from left to right, so it's positive. Picture somebody walking up a mountain. If they walk up a mountain, they're happy because they're positive. Okay? Walking up a mountain is happy. So now I have my y-intercept. I have my slope. The last thing I do is write in slope-intercept form, which is y equals blank x blank. What goes in the first blank? Your slope, 1 over 1. Your second blank is you don't write just 0. You have to put a plus or minus sign. Always put plus if it's 0, okay? There has to be a sign in between the x and the number. Now... I will accept this, however, this is not simplified. Y equals 1 over 1x is simplified. Because anything plus 0 is anything. So, But if you write this, that's okay. But this is the simplified form. It's that simple. Okay. Let's do this again. <clears throat> okay. I identify my y-intercept, which is 1. I identify my slope, rise over run, so I count up. I'm going to go up one line, so my top number is 1. I'm going to go over two lines, so my bottom number is 2. My slope is 1 half. This is the third step, and it must happen or it's wrong. You must put it in slope-intercept form. That's y equals 1 over 2 x, and then I have to have a 1, but... That's right, R2. I have to put the plus sign here. R2 was telling us that this means times. I have to put a sign here. There has to be a sign. It's a positive one, so I have to put plus one. Let's go ahead and do number three. What is my y-intercept? Negative one. Now, let's count our slope. I go down one, two. So my top number is 2. Remember, up or down is the top number. And then I go over 1. Going over is your bottom number. Now, here is the other thing we need to know. This slope is negative. Picture somebody walking downhill. 
They're sad. They don't like walking downhill. They're negative. So I have to put a negative sign on my slope. If you don't do that, it is wrong. Now all I do is put it in slope intercept form. Negative 2 over 1x minus 1. The last thing we need to look at is horizontal and vertical lines. Y equals blank x blank. Okay, what's my y intercept? That's right, plus 3. Now, what's my slope? Do I go up or down any? No, 0. How many do I go over? Well, I go over 1. So, because this is my next point. So, I go up or down 0 over 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. Y equals 0x plus 3. Now, 0 times x is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. So, I can write y equals 0x plus 3 or y equals 3. Horizontal line, y equals is your answer. It touches the y-axis. If it touches the y-axis, the only value you have is the y-value. This one is vertical. Which axis does it touch? The x-axis. So the only value you have is x. x equals negative 2. Here, your y-intercept does not exist. This does not work here. This won't work. Because your y-intercept does not exist. DNE does not exist. Your slope is undefined. So you just have to memorize if you have a vertical line that touches the x-axis, all you have is x equals. Okay, that is it. That's the lesson. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.